CONCACAF has a new U-17 champion, and it's none other than the USA. The Young Yanks did what no other team could, scoring not once but three times against Canada for a 3-0 extra time victory in Sunday's final, taking home the regional title for the first time since 1992. The two unbeaten teams in the tournament fought for possession throughout the first half. The Canadians were closer to scoring, forcing backup goalkeeper Kendall McIntosh to step up to the plate. And so he did, with nobody missing starter Fernando Pena, who was ineligible due to suspension. After the break, the U.S. kept the ball from the Reds. It seemed it would be just a matter of time for the ball to find the back of the Canadian goal for the first time in four games. But the unbeaten goalie, Maxim Kripo, stopped any U.S. attempt time and time again, keeping the scoreless tie to the end of regulation and sending the match to extra time, the second for the U.S. in the knockout stage. Just as they did against El Salvador in the quarterfinals, the Americans didn't wait any longer, and Nathan Smith scored an impressive 35-meter blast 62 seconds into extra time. Andrew Oliver followed in his steps in the 100th minute, before being sent off 17 minutes later, along with Canada's Marco La Pena. The third came one minute from the end through Alfred Coroma, who sealed the victory that gave the U.S. its first CONCACAF U-17 title in almost two decades. First-time runner-up Canada, who achieved its best result at this level ever, heads now to the U-17 World Cup backed by a great performance in this tournament, scoring 11 goals and only allowing three. Well, that's what I hope. That we learn from this that we have to do a little bit better stuff and we have to be a little bit sharper and a little bit more uh, savvy in some things, and I think we will. They're a great kid, group of kids who have a great attitude, and uh, they'll, they'll work very hard knowing the, this feeling right now. Earlier on Sunday, Panama stunned Jamaica with a lone goal, reaching third place with a 1-0 victory. Although the home team had more possession and created better chances throughout the match, it was Panama who took the lead with a left foot strike by Omar Brown in the 36th minute. The young boys kept aiming at Joseph Vargas' goal, but just as in the quarterfinals, one strike, two overall, was all Panama needed to take home third place in its debut in a CONCACAF U-17 competition, leaving host Jamaica in fourth. Our goal coming here was to qualify for the World Cup more than winning the championship, and we achieved that. Unfortunately, we couldn't win our semifinal match, but we knew we had to get a medal. Jamaica was a tough opponent. They are very physical, so the key for us was to move the ball around. And that's what we did. For us, it's a tremendous experience, especially playing against the Central American teams and the North American teams. We, we, we see the gap is not that far. We just have to be more consistent in terms of our concentration and such like. These are things that we're definitely be working on going into the World Cup itself. Now the countdown starts for the U.S., Canada, Panama, and Jamaica, who will join fellow CONCACAF team Mexico in the 2011 FIFA U-17 World Cup starting in late June. And the U.S. will lead the pack as the new CONCACAF U-17 champion, the first since 1996.